the S6 Pure and S6 Max-V are very similar, though there are a few distinct differences between them. The first is edge performance. The S6 Max-V cleans edges much better than the S6 Pure, according to our testing. It does so because it gets closer to them as it cleans close and parallel to them. The S6 Pure doesn't get as close, and so it doesn't clean edges as well. The second big difference involves small obstacle detection and avoidance. The S6 Max-V is equipped with two front-facing cameras that allow it to detect and avoid smaller obstacles like shoes and pet waste. The S6 Pure doesn't have these cameras, and so it doesn't have the same functionality. It runs right over smaller obstacles. The third big difference between these robots involves mopping. The S6 Max-V has a mop attachment with a separate mopping reservoir. The S6 Pure has a mop attachment with the reservoir integrated into the attachment. Its reservoir is therefore much smaller with a volume of 180 milliliters versus 297 milliliters for the S6 Max-V's reservoir. The S6 Max-V having its reservoir separate from the mopping attachment and seated in a compartment in the actual robot also allows for electronic control of that reservoir. You can set the flow rate of water out of the S6 Max-V's reservoir using the Roborock Companion app. You have to set flow rate manually for the S6 Pure's reservoir using a physical switch. Despite these apparent advantages for the S6 Max-V, the S6 Pure with its basic all-in-one mopping attachment mops hard floors just as well according to our testing. Both robots performed equally well in our mopping tests. And this really describes the results for most other tests we performed also. Both robots performed very similarly in most of these tests. That is because they have very similar airflow and suction and an almost identical brush roll compartment and brush roll. And so they both performed equally well in our carpet stress test, in our carpet deep clean test, and in our hard floor stress test. They had the same amount of trouble tangling with longer hair and the same success picking up shorter hair. They both generally navigate using a laser perched on top of each robot, and they both performed very well in all of our general navigation testing. They both are full-fledged mapping robots that allow you to label rooms, set no-go zones, and clean zones, on top of a myriad of other functions using the Roborock Companion app. They also have the exact same bin size, battery life, noise output, and dimensions. In terms of general recommendations, the S6 Max-V is easily the better robot. It cleans edges much better and is able to avoid smaller obstacles while the S6 Pure cannot. The S6 Max-V in general is a great robot vacuum, and the robot we currently recommend as the best robot vacuum overall. The S6 Pure is, for the most part, also a very good robot vacuum, but we can't recommend it over the S6 Max-V and we really cannot recommend it in general because of its poor edge performance. Its edge performance is unacceptable for a robot vacuum at its price point. See the description of this video for links to check the prices of these robots and for the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.